this is the beginning of part three of the video on how to set up a web banner advertising program in .NET Nook. So going back to what I was discussing before, uh, as you can see here, we have uh, this is just an image uh, uh, banner. This is not a flash banner. So the click through works quite well. If I click on the banner, it will uh, bring uh, the the destination URL from uh, that was set up in under the banner. Uh, but again, if I refresh again and the, the flash comes up, let's try again. So with the flash, as you can see, because this was a flash that I just grabbed over the internet, if I click, I'm getting an error because, again, inside of this flash, the click through is not going to the right URL, which it has to. So again, that was explained. So be aware that uh, handling uh, flash banners is not that simple. So my suggestion is if you are doing, if you have a .NET Nook site and you are doing banner advertising, I suggest that uh, that you do with uh, simple plain images, GIF if you want some sort of, a, of uh, animation uh, transition from one one uh, image to the other one. So you may want to use GIF. So flash, again, mm, does work very well under the banner banners option of, of .NET Nook. But now I would like to set up another uh, banner option in this page, which would show in the bottom of the page, but this time it will not show one uh, image at a time. It should show uh, two or three or four images at a time. So what we have to do now is go back to the vendors because now we have to uh, upload the, the new images. So I'm going back to the vendors option. And I'm going back, I'm going to start on company A. Okay, so here on company A, I'm going to scroll down, go under banner advertising. And as you can see, views are starting to come up because we have, we have, uh, we had some impressions. So I'm going to add a new banner. The, the better name I'm just again going to put company A add banner type I'm going to select a, a button and under banner group I'm going to call this time as a group banner group button banner that's that's a banner that will stay in the bottom of the site now under image again I have to upload the image that I want to use select browse then I have some uh, button images as well I have uh, this is the for company a all of them are gifts then uh, the I just have to upload selected file and under width the dimensions are there in the name of the file 120 by 60 I can leave text blank URL is the destination URL. Day.com. Cost per click. I'm gonna say that this will be a little bit cheaper. Said so this will be four dollars. No limit for impressions. Let's start. Put the start date as let's say yesterday, and then end date in about a week time frame. Let's click update. And now what I'll be doing is I'll be creating as I did with the first banner. I'll be creating. Uh, I'll be uploading one banner for each company. Okay, so I have finished adding the the last uh, banner for company uh, D. As you can see here, the button banner CPM is four dollars. Now, if I go back here to admin vendors, see, uh, we will see that each vendor will have now two banners. Now, let's set. Uh, the new banner, the set up the new banner in the home page. And again, the idea is to to have a row of uh, banners in the bottom of the page. So let's have a look at the layout of the page. Again, so what we're gonna do is content is in the content pane, and then the banners are in the top pane. And in the bottom pane, I'm gonna put uh, a row of four banners. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna select the banners module. Drop down list of modules. I'm going to select the 
pane, which is the bottom pane. I'm going to add the mod to the page. I'll flip to edit mode. And I'm also going to disable the container of this module, which will make it easier for us. So let's just go under base settings. And then disable print, disable container. Let's click update. Now let's set up the banner at the bottom. So we go to the uh, action menu, go to banner options. Now we're going to select a uh, banner type, we're going to select the button. And banner group, it will be a group button banner. Banner count, so how many banners will show up at once. In this case, we want to show up four banners at once. Orientation is horizontal. Uh, border width, uh, just for sake of example, let's, let's give it a shot here. Let's put it uh, two pixels and color uh, gray. You could put a uh, dex number or the name of the color here. Cell padding, this is the distance from one banner to the next one. Um, let's keep it as, let's say, uh, 8 pixels. And let's uh, click update. Let's see how it goes. Let's scroll down. And as you can see here, we have the border, which is not that good. So we're going to remove that. And you can see the four different banners. So let's play around a little bit more. Let's, let's go to the banner options. Um, remove the, the border width. So let's keep it zero. Border color, nothing. Cell padding, that's fine. Eight. And let's click update. have our four banners here at the bottom. Now, all of those banners are um, image, so they, the click-through is, is working fine. Each one of those, again, it's directed to company B in this case, which is uh, not a real site. Now, you can keep adding all kinds of banners. You can you can have a, a skyscraper uh, banner here on the, on the right side. Again, you can put as many as you want. You can put as many groups as you want. Uh, we have gone through creating two different groups. Just to finalize, let's go back to admin and have a look at the, the tracking numbers that uh, it's showing up in the, in the, under the vendors, under the each banner. So let's have a look at the company A numbers. Let's go down. Under banner advertising, what we have here, we have the number of views, the number of clicks, zero clicks at this point. Again, we have done some clicking, but maybe not in that uh, particular banner. Let's have a look at another company uh, report here. Let's see company B. Let's go down. Banner advertising. Then we have a click here. Uh, lots of impressions here. Again, so basically, this is the way you go about setting up uh, a banner advertising program in your .NET Took sites. Again, keep in mind that this is more, I would say, suitable for images, GIF, PNG, JPEGs, not so much about Flash. Flash can work, but work, I would say, partially. And But again, you can see the reporting here as well. Okay, you can control uh, cost per thousand impressions. You can control how many impressions you, you will allow. So basically, this was an overview of how to set up a banner advertising program in .NET Nook. Thank you very much. Bye.